outright favorite. Do you want to kick off with yours? Okay, I will. Um, well, I talked to you earlier about the two categories that you have to do well in over the last three years of greens in regulation and putting. So I'm taking the guy at the top of the board this week, Diane, who's the best in this field at those two categories. And he's had an unreal year. Hardly anyone knows Eric Cole, but well, they do know him. They hear his name and all that, but he's in the top 50, almost won at um, Palm, uh, Palm Beach down at the Honda this year, finished second. But Diane, he's the best. He's the best at those two stats. He's played good all year. He's in the top 50. Um, he's in those Vegas events. I mean, what is left for Eric Cole? I think the pressure, he's had a bit of pressure on him. People have been picking him when we're going into these smaller events as being a hot player. But he's, you know, he plays everywhere. He's all over the place, uh, meaning that he plays a lot of golf. And he's been playing great over the last seven weeks, second, third, fourth. I mean, the guy's right there every week. So I'm picking Eric Cole just because those two categories just are undeniably in his favor this week. Yeah, and you've also been big on Eric Cole for a while now. So that he's been close and he's handled himself really well when he's been in contention. Obviously, you know, get to cross the finish line, but definitely a good week for him. And he's going to be under less pressure than these guys that are effectively battling for their jobs. So just, I like just, for, the record, just for the record, I'm on everybody that's in the top five in putting and greens and red. Just, yeah. just, for, <laughs> just, just saying. <laughs> on the whole that's tour. Fair. Um, he's 33 to 1. Those are good odds for somebody who's within the top 50 um, and teeing up this week. So I like it. 